My name is Sunny Shah, and I'm the president of the Industry Pharmacist Organization, the student chapter at MCPHS University. And we'd like to thank you on behalf of the executive board for attending tonight's event. I would like to start off with our president, Charles Monaghan. He is in his 18th year as the president of the school and responsible for bringing all campuses of uh, MCPHS University together. Here we are, we've got about 200 uh, plus folks in the room, about 75 industry pharmacists, 30 industry fellows, 100 students, and five senior faculty and staff. So that's the makeup of this group. Uh, we uh, finally, uh, we owe a lot of uh, gratitude to Mike Malloy out at the Worcester campus, Dean of the Worcester campus, who started the fellowship, brought it to a certain point, but it is so large right now we moved it under Bernie here at the Boston campus, but Mike is working very closely with us. And I think we're close to about 40 fellows right now. It's very exciting that we have some, this, uh, Mike started the program and it's growing rapidly. And the students are the first chapter, we have to give them credit that Son Sonny and his executive committee started the first chapter. And uh, Worcester is the second chapter, and now I guess there's about 37 other schools. Look, it's wonderful to see uh, our building uh, with uh, the biopharmaceutical industry fellowship program on the cover. So this is very exciting. The college is uh, right behind this whole program with all our resources and we want to see it get big, big, bigger and better. I want to thank President Monahan, Vice President Johnson, Professor Terrell, all of MCPH University for uh, you know, the, the hospitality. I'm going to invite our panelists up here. I get to ask them questions and listen to their terrific answers. What do you see in terms of expanding roles uh, for pharmacists and in industry? When I was first getting into industry, you know, the stigma then was really there weren't really that many opportunity for pharmacists in industry. And at that time, most individuals would think of pharmacy or industry as either going into sort of drug information or clinical research. And, and really, and I think Michael sort of spoke to this before, was there wasn't some sort of a residency or a fellowship program path that exposed all the individuals and so the students or the individuals that might be evaluating industry were only thinking about those two departments but you know what we've seen with over time now is a lot of these pharmacists that are going into industry are not just going into those departments even though those departments tend to be the largest ones for pharmacists but we have individuals that are now going into managed market or market access marketing um, regulatory even sales and marketing and, and climbing up the ladder uh, to vice presidential status like we've talked about. And, and so I've seen the evolution occur and I think with, as pharmacists evolve, or as pharmacists go higher and higher, they sort of draw upon other pharmacists to sort of backfill those roles. So you are seeing a lot more pharmacists getting into industry these days. 